All right, all right, here we are back with this old house. All right, so we're going to put a brand new dishwasher in here and make my wife so happy. All right, so hopefully you watched the, the video about this league right here. We just showed you that, and go check it out if you haven't. I'll put a link to it in the description. But all right, so this leak right here caused me great havoc. But anyways, I had to tear out this hole, or tear out the wall right here, make this big old hole. So I'm gonna take a, a board, a little piece of board, and put over this right here before we install our dishwasher. All right, let's get after cutting our piece of wood. All right, first thing I'm gonna do a little, do a little measuring. One inch, I've got a little knock in there. It's about an inch and a half. Make sure I get around that, let's go. Make that an inch and a half. It looks like it'll slide down there. It's got to be at least. Let's see here. Whoa! Looks like about what's that? 20, 20 inches wide. And what we got right here? And about. 13 inches tall, 12, 13, 20, 12, 13. All right, well, let's go cut our board. Some safety glasses on, he, he, he. My safety sunglasses. So I'm gonna use a Craftsman 19.2, uh, I call it a mini circular saw. I don't know how good that blade is. Fast cut combination. Anyway, something to just know about Craftsman. Craftsman is not all that it used to be. It used to be this great American made company and now they've kind of sold out where there's a lot of different things. It's, you go check out my uh, a comparison of a Craftsman weed eater and a Troy, be Troy built weed eater. They're the same thing. Yeah, anyways, that's a side note. This is what I'm gonna use to cut it. All right, check out what we got here. I'm gonna use this real thin piece of wood. Tell how thin that is. What did I say, 20 by 13, it's already, so it's eh, 18 and a half inches. Might be able to make that fit. 13 is about right there. This does not have to be perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and just rip it 13 inches or so. I might even make it wider there. I'll tell you, I'm gonna make it about 15, rip it right through there. All right, here we go. Easy peasy, nothing to it. Good job, little mini circular saw. All right, need a little piece for that wire to go around, put it about right here. I'll pop that off in a second. All right, it's got some vice grips, this should work here. Let's see here. Easy peasy. That worked well. All right, see you inside. Is the bowl still too hot? All right, so we got our piece. We're back in here where the dishwasher goes. Let's see how our perfectly fitting piece of wood is going to work. All right, covers everything up. Yes, that's actually really good. All right, so I'm going to go back and do one more thing to it. Here we go. All right, next I'm going to do. Put our screws in there, it's gonna hold them on. So we've got four little screws I have just left over. And that's what's good about keeping all types of little things. And I'm gonna make, put them through here outside. I'm gonna get them started. You can do that with me. And the reason I wanna put the screws in, you know, years from now, somebody else wants to get down in there. And get down in there. I was gonna just put some cardboard. But I don't think that was a good idea. You know, moisture might get in there, whatever. It would work. I like the duct tape part. I may have to use the duct tape again anyway, so. Look at this, gonna just get them started. And when we get inside, we'll finish them off, stick them all the way in there. You don't want them too long because you don't know what's behind the wall. You don't know if there's more wire. Or, you know, a little pipe. You might drill a hole in your pipe with a, with a longer one. So these are short, they're tiny. Should get the job done. 
should be easy. All right, there you go. Looking good. There's more. There's two. There's three. Really don't even need the fourth one, but we're going to do it because it's there. Holes covered up. Got a little gap right there. I might sell. I might come back, put some tape over that, and just kind of seal it up airtight. So whatever happens back there happens there. I'm gonna do that. Yes, I am. All right. See you in a minute. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure this is prepped and ready to go. So talking to folks that the drain line is really a kind of a weak point on the dishwashers. So I'm gonna replace the drain line. The water line they say is really strong, so I'm not gonna replace it. But yeah, take your old drain. Here's my old drain. It's got this, this little collar right here holding on the drain into the garbage disposal which we will never use again. Garbage disposals are not good. That came off really easily. There you go. Give you an idea of how easy that is. Now, all right, that's off. I'm gonna fish it out and our dishwasher will be ready to unpack. Here we go. Now it's time to open up our dishwasher. Here's a box and it looks like the common sense way is to open up the top. If you read the bottom, it's got a dotted line down there that says to open, cut along, dotted lines that's what we're gonna do use one of my cool knives here a little outdoor adventure knife all types of cool things on it so check it out you ready JT yes all right watch out let's open it all right see if it works What do you see, buddy? The dishwasher. The dishwasher. So now we're just gonna pull everything off, unpack it, and I'll show you that when we have it done. All right, let's look at it together, see how it's packed up. Things nice and taken care of here. Little styrofoam holding that corner, that corner. Got a little piece of wood up here. Take that piece of wood out. I don't know what it's we, for. We might use that piece of wood. We might. Let's keep that. I like the styrofoam's holding anything. All right, looks pretty straightforward. Let's, let's, let's take it off. Let's go ahead and take it off. Hold on, hold on, I'll break it. Pull it out. All right. Pull that side up. Turn it forward, pull that side up. Turn it out. Boom, we've got a dishwasher. Sitting on a piece of cardboard. All right. Got this thing on here, but that's like an insulation. We'll use that. It's supposed yeah. to keep it quiet. I, and I think it's supposed to not get scratched. Let's look at the look at everything real quick. Let's look at the drain. Oh, it's got the drain plug with it. All right, so I didn't need to buy a drain plug. Actually, this may not actually go straight to the thing. I might use mine connected to that drain plug. So we might save a couple bucks and yeah that, that's gonna go straight we're gonna hook that drain line straight up to theirs i don't understand some things look at this rope yeah, it's made of rope right there frigidaire i guess it's maybe it's a strong rope that's just for the door opening and closing the door that's the top bracket mm, all right well there you go i'm gonna get it off this box right here we're gonna start figuring it out. All right, pick it up, pull it out. We might use this box too. 
All right, here we go. Okay, after taking it out of the box, I noticed it says items you'll need for installation. Train hose clamp, one and a quarter inch diameter. I got two of them right there. One of those will work. Conduit connector, standard half inch connector. Not sure what that is, so we'll see if we can get along without it. Electrical wire nuts, two required. Got them. Pipe thread tape. Got that right there. So I think I know where all that goes. All right, let's look at this drain line that came with it a little bit better. It's really thin, but looks good. So that's gotta go over my previous one. And then I see it comes out like this, down and around. I don't want it to kink, so I'm gonna have to pull it out through there. Just see it connected right there. Looks like they snugged it up pretty good. Anyway, so I'm gonna fish this out of there. I don't want to kink it up. I bought a new one. It looks like I'm going to be able to take that thing back. Alright, so there's that. Ooh. So it's already got water in it. I dumped a little bit of water out. Check it out. I the told water is already uh, Daddy, in it. I told you there was water in it. Yes, you did. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if what i have here will already work we've got that's the end of the drain plug that's going to fit over there now let's go see if it's going to fit on the top of there yeah that's going to fit perfectly just like that all right perfect now right, i'm going to take it back off before i shove it in there and then i'll install it all right so one of the things you need to do before you install it I'm going to lay it on its back as I'm talking. As you need to get this plate off right here. The Phillips screwdriver there, Phillips screwdriver there. And that should be easy. All right. Let's open this up. And I'll show you what's in there. Pull it off, JT. Straight up. Whoa. Uh, lost the screw. It's okay. It's right there. Okay. So we got our two screws. Just make sure we don't lose them. Keep it looking good. All right. So here's the bottom of the dishwasher. I'm going to make sure everything's nice and snug in there. Hand me that, that screwdriver with that red one, please. Yes, sir. Yes. All the wire. Sir, yes. Make sure nothing's come undone. So we're looking around. Let's snug that up. That's your drain line. Getting snug. That's probably that's a little bit loose actually. Tighten that down a little bit. Good. Electrical wire. Electrical wire. All right. Good stuff. All right. Now we got to get into this right here. Here's our electrical box. All right, so what do we need? We need a, I can't see it. All right, to get to your electrical box, you're gonna need a star or a hex screw to get in there or some type of wrench. So I'm gonna stick it in there. And there you go. Get this all the way out of there. That will get you into your electrical box. Let's not lose that, we'll need it. There we go. All right, so you need to do that before you put it in there or you'll be fishing underneath everything. So check it out. All right. Good stuff. There's our wires. Hold that flashlight, bud. Coming out right there. Pretty self-explanatory, looks like to me. I may have to cut some of this off, actually. But that looks like that's coming in there. And then I'll connect what I have underneath my house to that with some nuts. Black, white, there's your ground. Seems pretty simple right there. All right, see you in a minute. I'm gonna stand it back up and I'm gonna start sliding it in there. All right, so when you get your dishwasher, your Frigidaire, one of the things you're gonna have to get, and I didn't realize it, is the actual water line that goes up in there or the angle 
um, to put to a water line that goes up in there. So the only thing I could find when I went to Lowe's is this right here. It's got the angle right there and then a couple other things. And then an entirely new water line, which is better than my old one, which is right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the entire water line. If this looks like a, that's what I need to do. Anyway, so I'm gonna replace this tire water line, make me feel a little bit better about it, even though this one is good. Anyway, so let's, let's, let's get after this, see what happens. All right, so let's get the water line together. Put some tape around this. Or pipe thread seal. It's like a blanket. That's right, all the water in our house comes in right here. Gotta look when you stick when you get in here, gotta look for spiders. <laughs> Cut the water off to the house. So getting in here, watch out for black widows. There's a cricket down there. I guess the crickets are down here and they're not afraid. I don't need to be afraid. Alright, I don't know if you see in there or not, but the water is now off. Those two things are together. Alright. Let's go see if we can get this done now. Waterline is off. Cheer for me. Yay! We're gonna see if it's leaking now before I put the new one on. It's Alright, got the water line off. Now I'm gonna go and check and see if there's any leaks right here and right there. I'm gonna go turn on the water. Let's see what happens. Nice, I got it off without destroying it. No leaks. Yet. <laughs> Don't worry about this stuff. All right, now we're gonna put the new water line back on. All right, so I reversed the process. So, a little pipe tape on there. All right. I'm getting this on here. My son just turned a dishwasher box into a toy. That's cool. That's what boys and girls do when they're five years old. Thanks for easy Christmas presents. So that last one was on extremely tight. I am not gonna go that tight. That was kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna get it nice and firm and then turn it another quarter. That's kind of my rule on things. Nice and firm, and then another quarter turn. We'll see, because I can always tighten this one up without taking anything out. All right, still right there. Still no leaks, looking good. All right, now we're gonna get back to the dishwasher. Hook up the other end. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to start fishing everything in where they need to go. So water lines end up going underneath there. Pull this out and my drain hose. You don't want it to kink. Let's go fish it through there. Oh, that'd be hard enough to hook that up. That's what's going to go right through there. 
see it right there that's pretty easy when to get on there I just have to tighten that down all right you get the idea I'm gonna fill this whole thing there so you understand what you got to do there all right so got the drain hose on the main thing you gotta understand on this one you don't want, when you push it back, you don't want anything to kink. So check out your line and make sure it's not going to get kinked anywhere. All right, got the drain hooked up. All right, next thing I'm going to do is hook up this water line that I sure hope is not going to leak. And so I like to finger tight at first. Make sure you, this is just a little th plastic thread, so get them on there straight. Finger tight at first, and then on the quarter turn. So it's finger tight, and then I like a quarter turn. That's what I like. I'm going right there and hope that doesn't keep all right we got that set up now the last thing you gotta get hooked up is your power going through your power box so that may require a little bit of ingenuity let's see how that works all right get to that in a second all right here we go we're gonna shove this back a little bit and you can see it go up with it there's my power line. We'll keep this coming this way. I'm just to keep on inching it back. Now, what I have to start thinking about is the next thing. It's got to be level. All right. That's basically far enough back now I can get the wires together. All right. Give myself a little bit more space before I hook anything up. Let's see how this is going to go. I think this is going to be good. All right, so that's what I got to hook up the wires here, there, and right there. All right, let's do this. All right, I don't know if you can see or not, but I got to fish my wires through that little hole right there. And they are through. All right, wasn't too bad. All right, and then I'll separate them ground, black, white. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna actually pull you back a little bit. That'll have you helpful. All right, let me get my, my stuff here. I'll be back. All right, so here we go. We've got all our wires together. Daddy. And I'm going to take and wrap that around there. Dad. And then I'm going to get the nut on it. Hold on one second, bud. Twist it down. And you just want to twist it kind of where it feels firm is what I like to do. That's firm. Give each wire a little tug. Yep, they're in there. And check it one more time. All right, got the black one on. Now, do the white one. Wrap around just a tad with your fingers. And then, same thing, get it on there. Right here, I think. 
again, get on there till it's nice and firm. And then give it a little tug. Yep, looks good. All right, now you want to uh, you want to get now your ground. It's gonna go on that green one. That's pretty easy. Wrap it around there. I really just need it once, but it's a long one there somewhere. Get around there and all right, it's on. Now you gotta screw that ground down. All right, that's pretty tight on that ground. I didn't screw it very much, but it's on there. All right, let me just kind of just make sure you have these things got kind of hidden in here because I gotta get that box over them. Put them where they're nice and neat. And then slip your box on. So, all right, here comes the box. I have to adjust these a little bit more. I don't even know why this box is on here. Doesn't cooperate a little bit. I'm gonna leave it off. That's a two hand job. All right, I get that hole lined up. I can't really see. <laughs> This lined up. Get started. Right, you can see where I got it started. Now I'm going to finish it off with the screwdriver. Star head or whatever it's called, hex star. I don't want it to be real tight, just snug where it won't rattle off. There we go. Good deal. So power's hooked up. Water lines hooked up. Alright. Now I'm just gonna ease it back while I'm down here. One more thing to check. I'll start easing back. Alright, so I'm gonna check before I push too far. I'm gonna check my lines. Make sure nothing is kinking. Water line looks good. Everything's still kind of loose, so water line's kind of tight. Let me mess with that for a second. Yeah, water line got tight right there. Raise it up a little bit so it's kind of there we go. I'll push back a little bit more. That might be all the way I'm gonna take it right there. Water line's good. Drain's still kind of loose. Good stuff. Let's see what we got here now issue that you're gonna have is leveling it all right so my problem of leveling this thing out i can't get to the back ones very easily i don't want to unhook everything so i've cut some shims i'm gonna stick under the feet in the back i'm gonna try to get to those and stick these under there and that should you know pick it up a little bit in the back and then i can adjust everything from the front that should be easier all right let me get after that if you can see me doing this or not i don't know all right, so I got one shim too far. <laughs> Go back here, shim. Uh, 
All right, that looks pretty good on that side. Now we'll get one on the other side. I can notice my technique. I gotta pick up up here and make it move. Let's see here. That one go over just a little bit more. All right, let's check it out. See him there, see him there. Let's see how this slides back. I need the seam to go back with it. Actually, maybe not. Let's see here. That looks pretty good. Be able to see these right here that might be as far as it goes back in there all right good deal i think we got it set up all right see you in a minute before i connect everything the way i want it to go i'm not going to make it solid let's check out our water here please don't leak please don't leak please don't leak Line. Dry right there. That worked. Oh, yeah, looks good right there. It's not leaking. Still not leaking. Always got to be patient with these things. Sometimes these things develop later. Come back and check periodically. Moved. Feeling good. Yes, the water line's not leaking. It works. Oh, pat myself on the back. Good job. Okay. Now, we might actually run it one time. Let's see. So let's open it up. See, so try to open it up right now. Look, it pulls the whole thing forward because it's not totally connected yet. So we pull that right there and see what we got inside. Up. All right, that's there. Go piece of styrofoam. Look at here, instructions inside here. That's ridiculous. Maybe it's just a user manual. Let's open that up here in a second. Get that right there. We can snip that off real quick. Cause I know we don't need that. Says I'm gonna spend thirty-five dollars a year doing this. Twenty-five dollars a year. Oh, that's used with natural gas. It's regular. That's not. That's not much. Thirty-five bucks. Pretty good. You better wash the dishes good. All right. So one of the last things you need to do after you get everything the way you want it, got it level, everything's hooked up. You know there's no leaks. Now you secure it at the top. I've already put one screw in right here. I'm going to put another one in over there. And I'll let you watch me put that one in. There we go. All right. And that's basically what holds it in. Get that in there. Get a few things in here. Let's pull some of this stuff out. Oh, that belongs in there, doesn't it? This little thing pops up. Things working like it's 
supposed to. This is opening and closing like it's supposed to. Nice and level, looking good. Now, last thing you need to do is put your trim down here on the bottom and you are finished. I'm gonna stick that on there right now. I'll just let you see me do it and we'll see what happens. All right, so let's just take this. Where our two nuts have to go. Slip this up under there. Oh, there it goes. And it should make for a nice, neat finish. You can actually see pretty good right there. Goes on there pretty straightforward, like. Right? Get started with my fingers. There's one, and then the other one. Screws in there pretty good. I hit it with the drill, and then have to cut it off. So it's really for looks. like it's dawn. Woo! That's how you install it. We'll see us, let's see it work one time and then we'll be good. Lastly, man, before you start, you need to unhook your circuits. So I'm gonna go put my circuit back in and then I bet these lights will light up and we'll have some action. I'm gonna go put my circuit back in. Be back in a second. All right, circuit's back in, lights are on, a little action is happening. Let's see what happens. Time to hit start. Y'all ready? All right, so it looks like on this one you open it up, you load it, pick whatever you want. I want normal wash. And then you close it, hit start. Maybe you leave it open, hit start. Uh-oh, heard water come on. Let's see if anything's leaking. Get in here, boy. No leaking there. Get water running. So it's running where it's supposed to. There's the water line. It is working. Yay! Dishwasher is in. It's doing some work inside. Still no drips. I'm liking it. The wife will too. Oh yeah. All right, folks, got a washing dishwasher. And this can be a one hour job, a 30 minute job, depends on how, how easy it is, or it could be a half a day job, depending on how, how much you've got to move things around. It's kicked on right now, you hear it? So I feel good about it. Hope you will too. Thanks for watching. If you like this stuff, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know where I went wrong. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.